Does Jen still love Brad? Does Brad still love Jen? Are they going to get back together or not? What can we read from the body language that's secretly going on, cerebrally, emotionally, between Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston? All of this will be discussed in this Believe in Bruce body language video. So welcome back to Believe in Bruce, the channel where we help you get inside your own head so you can think, feel, and act that little bit better. Body language, performance, psychology, well-being, mental health, anything to do with the head and heart. If you're interested in this, subscribe, put your notifications on. This is the channel that you've been looking for. But also please comment below where you're from. I'm enjoying finding out where people globally are watching my Believe in Bruce channel from. So there's been a tsunami of excitement in the showbiz world. Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston, they come together. What was going on? What was said? What does the grab mean? What does the looks mean? Will they get back together or not? Who knows? It's all up in the air. But let's look from an expert body language perspective and read the signs and go through it together to educate us on what's going on, but also so that you can apply these techniques in your normal everyday life. So you can spot the liars, so you can read other people's body language to make sure that you're never caught out, but also to maybe understand more of the unsaid words, what people aren't saying, so you can dig that little bit deeper for more transparent and authentic conversations. So the first picture here, you'll see Brad and Jen. Now what's interesting here is that Brad seems to have an authentic smile. When people smile, but it's a fake smile, it's called the Duchenne smile, all right, from a body language perspective. This investigator, Mr. Duchenne, he actually come up with this smile where when people are scared or they're fearful or they're being fake, is that their mouth will smile, but their eyes don't move. And it's about the muscles that link this area to the side of the eyes as well. So you can see here, when Jen is coming towards Brad, you can see he's got a genuine smile because you can see the wrinkles at the side of his eyes. He generally looks happy. This is not fake, this is not, oh, it's Jennifer Aniston, what do I do? Or the cameras are here, I've got to smile. No, no, this is a genuine smile because the smile's there as well as the wrinkles at the side of the face. So it's more likely, it's probably a genuine smile. He is generally pleased to see her. But you've also look at Jen's face here, yeah, she's a bit apprehensive. You know, and she's displaying something that could be called the turtle effect, the tortoise effect, where there's this little sort of hunch, and you can see it on her face, it's like, do I come forward or not? Do I approach you? What do I see? You can tell there's that little apprehension there. Is that because there's still feelings there? She doesn't want to mess this moment up. So you've got Brad's smile, but Jen's sort of turtle stuck, as in, please don't harm me. And again, this is a universal sign when we put our head down and raise our shoulders. And you can see on the face there, there is an expectation that, She's just a little bit wary of what's going to happen. And then you see here, actually, the power shifts. It's Jen who's leaving, and then Brad is grabbing over the top. And because it's a top place grip, that's very much control. It's like, don't go. Yeah, but it's because it's over the top, that's him still trying to be in control. And if you look at that top grip, and obviously Jen's moving away, he's still long, and those loving eyes are following her. Yeah, she's turned away, but he's still trying to keep her in his view. But if you also notice Jen's left hand, as well as the grip, what people don't seem to be picking up on is the fact that her hand is open and it's on Brad's abdomen as well. It's not closed. She's not fearful. She's fully open to that contact. She'll be getting comfort from that contact. Again, so his grip's there, but her open hand is on his abdomen. Very interesting from a body language perspective. I'm open to you. I feel you. I am connecting with you. And then again, you've got another example with this shot of Jen's hand opened, it's on his arm, she's leaning in. But what's really interesting is this particular photo, he's sort of looking not towards her, he's looking past her, but he's still got what looks to be a smile on his face. But then if you look at her, now if it's a crowded event or if it's a noisy event, you'd probably lean forward and speak into his ear, but... Again, from a body language perspective, Jen's head is turned, but it's turned to talk to his face. That's where she wants that contact. That's where she wants that connection. She's not leaning into his ear. What she's doing is she's leaning, and the head is turned directly to gaze into him. Awful, emotional, evocative. But she's definitely turning towards his face, not his ear. And in the final one here, what again, the news articles are picking up on us when Brad is watching Jen on the TV. Now here he looks calm, he looks confident, he looks happy, he looks content. If you notice his chin is slightly raised, he's sort of stand and proud. It's as if he is a proud person watching his wife, watching his daughter if you will. 
there's that authentic display from a body language perspective. He is pleased to see her delivering that acceptance speech. Genuine happy emotion is displayed all over his face there. But again, again, like a proud partner or a proud dad, but it is there for all to see. So what can we take from that? Well, there's definitely connection. There is definitely chemistry. Now remember these two were married. You would expect that chemistry there. It doesn't seem to have dwindled. It doesn't seem to have decreased. There's genuine happiness and contact from both sides. They are both open to each other's presence. Indeed, they are both encouraging each other's presence. They're both happy in close proximity. There was no negative push away at all. All parts of their body are open. There's frontal venting going on as well. You know, they're not standing there with their arms crossed. They are exposing the major organs of the body, which is what we know when we feel a threat. We'll do this or we'll do this. We try to shield ourselves, if you will. Put all of these together, the fact that there's open palms, the smile, the genuine smile, that there is this ventral fronting going on where they're exposing themselves to each other because they are open and they are welcoming of the other person and encouraging the other person. The grab over here, the hand on the abdomen for protection. Oh, if I was a betting man, I wouldn't bet against some type of reconciliation. So yeah, if you're interested in body language videos or you want to learn more, I do a whole series of them. Subscribe below, give me a thumbs up, turn on your notifications. If you're interested, we're doing a series on Donald Trump impeachment. Is Donald telling the truth or not? We'll be looking at his body language. So remember to subscribe, but more importantly, believe in Bruce. Be kind to yourselves and each other.